It's just me, what's going on? Barbados is with me born I came back just now, I joined some comfort Tell me where I'm from Beyond the frying fish, it has a sweet, sweet so far Tell me where I'm from The home of Rihanna and the dread is quick to talk Tell me where I'm from Man play them back the back it up Fry the night on stains fish frying up Yo I feel like hitting it Yeah, every link up, link up Say where me from We create the rum and everybody fly down watching every single season. We love the feedback and we have some amazing giveaways. So look out for our crop over trivia question. And when he is answering, you answer in the comments below for a chance to win some NCF branded prizes. And speaking of him, welcome to the show. Guy Marley is with me today. Okay, <laughs> How are you? I'm I blessed. How are you? I am really good. I'm happy to finally meet him in person. Uh -huh. I have been in his inbox like, I love this, I love this, I love this. But it's really good to get to know you. And I hope that our guests watching get to know you this season. Okay. All right, so let's get into the question. All right. When did you know you wanted to be a professional dancer? Well, pretty much from the time I started dancing. Yeah. Really. And that was about from like four farm, uh -huh. back home here. Yeah. <gasps> Come here. Up and on. Up and on. I didn't know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm the <laughs> <laughs> That's the energy right there. That's the energy. We just lost half the viewers, but it is like. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> so, what style of dance were you doing at Palmer Fourth Farm? Um, my inspiration for the dance yeah. uh, helped me to start dancing. I think was so you. Um, you got sir. The movie you got sir. Yeah, so <laughs> you already know off the bat it was hip hop, waving and all of that. That's how I learned. And then from there I went into dance hall. Oh. And that was actually funny because I used to watch these men like extra hip hop thing at dance fest. Yeah. And I'd be like, yo, this dance hall thing not that hard. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean do this? But then I get a feel for it myself. I yes. got a feel for it myself and I'm like, yo, yes. dance hall <laughs> is it, fam. <laughs> In wait time, everybody yeah. was doing Yeah, they made it ball. <laughs> and, 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 and I was like, yeah. Yeah. But dance hall, dance hall is a lot of money. got you into yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Did you form any groups? I know at home, we had a singing group, but I couldn't even sing. Uh -huh. So I imagine you had to have a dance group. Actually, you know, um, you know, jerking was a phase. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, uh, you were a jerk. You were a jerk. Um, I, I mean, oh, too old for that one. Oh. <laughs> Well, I love dance career. It's called jerking at one point. Uh -huh. um, a group of my friends at Palm Mary, we came together and we formed a group called Kid Robots. And at that time, they had little rivalries at different schools. SMS had the SMS Transformers. And QC had a group kid called JLJ, Justice the League Jerks. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we had little rivalries, I think, at school. So that was one of the groups that me and my friends had formed. Yes. Yeah. All right. Did you feel fully supported as a man in the dance space now? Because normally, mm -hmm. you know, we hear people just gendering so many random things. Yes. Oh, a man shouldn't be a nurse or this or that. Yes. How did you feel as a young man mm -hmm. and deciding, yeah, I, I want to be a dancer? How did you feel? What was your experience? Honestly, I felt a little bit about it because yes. The hair is, I love dance, mm -hmm. so I was not about to let anything deter me from doing dance. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I just block out all the noise and ignore most all the um, negative criticism. Correct, correct. And just 
stay focused. Focus on, on what it is you want yeah. to do. I love that. Do you have any favorite styles of dance? Yeah, for sure. Like you were just talking about that. Correct. So, yeah, dance yeah. Up, up there for sure. I think that I would say that that's my number one. Number one, dance. yeah. And then we have contemporary. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love contemporary because the freedom it gives you. Yeah. You don't have to stay tethered to one particular style. In yeah. contemporary, you just throw a mix of different stuff. Like a fusion? Yeah, fusion. And that's that's that mainly my style of dance. I don't yeah. stay. I stay tethered to one particular style. I may have my favorites. Like, yeah. Like I said, dance all, all. But contemporary for sure. Yeah. And Afro and yeah. hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop for sure. So within now, the dance hall genre, mm -hmm. do you have like a favorite move? Like I'll go first. Like I just love to see Zeth. Uh, well, I always turn to Zeth. And then somebody told me, that's not even actually a dance. Like that's right. just something that people do. <laughs> and when I think about it, I was doing it to another song too. It was that and someone back in the day called Tech with Yourself. And you yes. Yes. So anything like this, like, like, do you have like a favorite movement to do with your body? Um, I wave a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I can't really say I got a, a, a particular move that I like to do all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really necessarily have a favorite person. Okay. Yeah. Where you go to learn a new one now? Like, what's your process? Like, like a new routine or a, move? a new um, style of dance oh, or nice. a new movement? Like, what's your process? Do you put it up on YouTube or do you like to watch someone in a space like we're in now? We're in gentle steps. Yes. Our academy. Thank you to them. Mm -hmm. um, so, how, what's your process like in terms of learning something, especially when it's a challenge? Um, really, I'm sure they try to take it step by step. Mm -hmm. Like, my mind needs to understand it before ah. my body can really take any information. Oh, nice. A lot of people like to like try it first, like yeah. physically. Yeah. But with me, it starts mental. It's mental first. Mm. Okay. So, I, I try to internalize it. Oh. And then. Anything else will follow from there. Flow yeah, I'm just flow to, to the physical. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my process. Okay. Are there any movements that your body was just like, not this one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I first started to learn Afro, like yes. Afro B. Yes. Like, it was so weird for my body. Yeah. Like, you would think it's so close to dance all in a sense. I would think, yeah. But the beat. Like the, the, the arrangement, like the feel, the bounce uh -huh. of the music is slightly different. Yeah. So at first, my body was freaking out. I was like, what's this? <laughs> you know that movie, the Guava Girl? Listen, like, ah, I was letting you, know? you finish. I cannot. I Love. cannot do it at all. It like, took me <laughs> so long to learn yeah. that move. Wow. I swear. And it looks really cool when he does it, by the way. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Oh, it sent me a good world. Yeah. What, what do you think it is? The isolation, maybe something? Like like the bump, like the is a different is a different feel that my body wasn't accustomed to. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is this is really <laughs> kicking my butt. And it was it was oh. it was a challenge. Yeah. Other than that, the challenge I have really found. I am not a dancer. I just turn up at people's dance classes and have fun. Mm. But I have like a natural inclination to Afro-Caribbean. My mom okay. was a dancer, so maybe it's somewhere in me. Mm -hmm. But one day I turned up at somebody jazz class and it was like where are you guys going? <laughs> so I know what you mean. Why do you enjoy jazz? Jazz is very hard. It's very hard. I, I did one class of jazz and a bit of jazz. I was like, what is this? What is this? This is not close to nothing I've ever done. Nothing at all. It's like, oh, it's okay to have beat. Yeah, these, these things are going to be going quick and sharp. <laughs> Show up to Rene. I enjoyed your class, yeah, Rene, but I struggled. I struggled. Boy, Rene's a boss. Yeah, he is. He okay. is. He is. How do you ensure you stay strong and fit enough to perform? Working out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and especially when you're like in rehearsals too, mm -hmm. like give it that extra effort in rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. Just try to push yourself any opportunity you get. Mm -hmm. uh, but working out, like formal training and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't really have a lot of time to go in the gym, but mm -hmm. I got like, a few weights and stuff at home. Okay. So I would just do little workout routines, yeah. like specialized for my body specifically. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do wow, like, but you're excited well. as well now. Yeah, it got kind of watch what you eat to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Don't don't like try to starve yourself. Mm -hmm. 
But at the same time, everything in moderation. Correct. Everything in moderation. So Correct. Try to drink water, stuff like that. Yes. But you know, don't necessarily feel as though you gotta eat a particular way. Yeah. Just. Just keep in mind everything moderation. A message for yeah. everyone watching as crop yeah. over and Kaduma Day comes upon us. And I just passed a tweet with somebody asking, uh-huh. how do I lose 10 to 15 pounds in two weeks? <laughs> Everybody wants to be cut, the guys want to be, the mm-hmm. girls want to wear, they wear a bra, and we are all starving. But you know what I think? A summer <laughs> body is whatever body we bring to summer, right? All right. A crop over body is whatever body we bring. Yeah, yeah. But I know as a dancer, sometimes you are performing with multiple performers each and every night and that takes a lot of stamina like mm-hmm. how do you keep up during that pace of the crop over season you really gotta try to pace yourself yeah you gotta pace yourself that's very important and yeah. try to get rest yeah like i know it's hard to like forget about sleep sometimes especially as the season starts to get really hectic yeah but you gotta try to make that time and like go don't and take a Take like a break. Yeah. Even if like rest don't necessarily mean sleep. Like yeah. just do something that you enjoy doing. Like something that eases your mind if it's listening to music, mm. going to the beach and just watching the waves, going in the sea, getting a uh, sea bath, anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta try to pace yourself okay, for sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. And again, lots of water, eating properly, yeah. exercising. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about mental health during that time? I always like to bring that mm-hmm. up for anybody watching. The same thing, right? Detaching, yeah. going to the yes. beach, watching the yes. waves. It's very important for your mental health. Do you have a particular thing that you love to do to like self soothe and, and, and just treat guys yeah. good? I do, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually like to, like, at the end of my day, mm-hmm. when I come home, whatever it was I was doing, if I had a rehearsal, if I was just running errands, yeah. I come home at the end of the day and then everybody else gone to sleep. Yeah. Like, I would go on my balcony, yeah. like, pull up a chair. And maybe get a nice little glass of wine, listen to some music, and just relax and yeah. just feel myself like coming back down to earth. Correct. Yeah, that was my personal thing. Oh, I love yeah. that. You had me at uh, red wine. Uh, Sorry, I, I, I interjected, not it's, red. It's funny you said red wine because I was thinking, uh, honestly, yeah. So we're still talking about the busy crop over season. Mm-hmm. Have you ever gotten up there on stage mm-hmm. and forgotten about <laughs> How did you handle it? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you were like yes. everybody saw you. <laughs> yeah, and that happened the last, you know, I was so cool, right? yeah. yes. I got renamed uh, Soka Monarch so yes. the last year that they had it before the um, lockdown. Correct. Yeah. I had a few dances. Mm. I performed for a good set of people that I, I know. Saw. And there were moments in some of the dances, cause you know, they repeat certain sections mm-hmm, for the mm-hmm. chorus and stuff. Yeah. My mind blank in a few, a few moments and I was like, I held my own though. Yeah. Cause I realized I made a mistake and I was like, all right, we gotta sell this. <laughs> sell this, just pause until we come back to the right move. Correct. And then we go again. <laughs> you can't, you gotta try not to lose, <laughs> lose yourself. <laughs> you gotta try not to lose oh yourself. Oh my gosh, and I imagine yeah. too, Say this happens early in the night, you have so many more dances to do. Yeah. You can't afford to break your confidence. No, you, you can't, can't take it on. You can't focus on that and dwell on it. You Correct. Are you not? Move on. Push, push. Move on. <laughs> Did the other dancers notice? Did anybody talk to you about it after? Yeah, like, some people didn't notice. Like? <laughs> no, then. But if you don't know the choreography channel, Correct. how are you not going to tell that that was a, it was a mistake? Correct. Yeah. We say that in theatre too, hear me we. I do dabble, I do dabble, and all the arts love them. And we say, you know, nobody knows the show you plan to put on you. Nobody knows it. So if you fumble, it's part of the show. Correct. (laughs) So don't take it on to the younger artists watching. Yeah, do it with confidence. Do it with confidence. Let people say it. That's something new. That that ain't the original like a king, but this is good version. Yes, it is. (laughs) Everybody's version. So describe to me the emotions you experience before hitting the stage to perform for a huge audience. I don't like that's so Koroi yeah. audience. Like how do you feel? Walk me through it. So for me, before like the event itself start, mm-hmm. I would like just be focusing on my mind. Yeah. yeah it's, it's go time today. Yeah. 
is trying to get on the stage and mm-hmm. do what I do for these people. Yeah. And, so. and then coming up. Yeah. So like right before the, the show time. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, yeah. Hyping up. That little anxious feeling. Yeah. I got a little yeah. Get yeah. hyped in my head. Get hyped. Yeah. 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 Ready for this. Cool. A lot of people be nervous, but yeah. I won't say it's nervousness for me. It's just anxiousness. Ah. Just walking on that stage, feel that energy. Oh, ready uh, to go. They dance, everybody dancing around me, the yeah. artist performing, yeah. and then the crowd, like, and it's just when I hit the stage, yes. so there's no other feeling like it. Like, none. None. Oh my like, gosh. Like, it's indescribable. Oh my god, and on that emotional note, oh. we're gonna break, drop a little ad in here and tell you about one of the events that's coming up for the NCF and come right back. You are watching the NCF present for the crop over culture. <laughs> their energy in the form of dance like who decides on the choreography well m- me personally mm-hmm. i perform with a number of different groups uh-huh. when it comes to performing with artists yeah so for certain art- artists i would have used to perform with rhythm tribe there, right and then dance machine here mm-hmm. and then My Geraldine, yeah, Geraldine all these put people. together a little group yes. of blood and stuff like that yes so yes yes it's really the artist going to them, uh-huh. and then they will relay what their vision, to the you. vision of the artist is to us okay. as the dancers yeah. and how they want it to be portrayed and so on. Okay, yeah. okay. Are you into choreography as well? Yeah. yeah. All right. Dance hall. Dance hall, anything. anything. I would, I would challenge myself in any type of choreography, uh, really. I feel like you never back down from a no. challenge. I'm getting that from you. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, which is your preference? To attend crop over events as a patron or as a performer? This is a no-brainer for me. Oh, yeah? As a performer. Oh, yeah. really? Because the difference for me as a patron uh-huh. is 
it's all well and good me paying going to see the show mm-hmm. enjoying it and stuff I like that's a different type of energy yeah but as a performer now like I said my favorite event being Soka Royale Soka Monarch mm-hmm. that energy as a performer is yeah is so much more so much greater next to level, me yeah. next level. it's a different type of feeling I almost think I'm going to get yeah yeah and chances are as a patron I'll be going there watching the performance and like the artist in me has come out with like, no <laughs> well them set up this <laughs> like you know I fully enjoy yeah Sure. You know what I just thought of? At some point, I was going to Zumba. Mm-hmm. So then, every time I go and I would hear this particular song, I would be like, I'm going to jump and say, watch me. And you find yourself doing it. Do you do that? Like, when you remember a Soka Royale, for example, yes. routine, when you go, do you find yourself doing it yes. again? Yes. <laughs> and people looking at you like, this is a warm up. This is a warm up. And this. Chances are you see somebody else on the same routine with you and yes. they start around up the mask and so they're late, but they got two shows going on. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, happens. I know, yeah, I know. Happens. And I love it. I love the energy. <laughs> and I especially love as you say when you see somebody else and they know the routine too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so before we get into our little dance, I mm-hmm. have to ask you. What advice would you give to an aspiring dancer, a young man watching mm-hmm. and thinking, I want to be like Guy Marley? What would you say to him? Uh, first and foremost, believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, it got to start with you. Mm-hmm. Like, if you've got this goal in mm-hmm. mind, do whatever you can to make it a reality. Like, yeah. People will be telling you different things, trying to encourage you. Some may try to bring you down mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But ultimately, Focus on what you know you want to do. Yeah. And uh, in doing that, you got to kind of keep an open mind still because mm-hmm. you still want to take in advice from others. Yeah. So try to keep an open mind to a point. Mm-hmm. And in terms of negativity, try not to let it get you down because you're not in control of what other people say about you or mm-hmm. think about you. So try not to let that be a fo- one of your focuses mm-hmm. as an aspiring dancer who's coming yeah. up. Yeah. And is I think it's important too to try to dabble in different styles, try to mm-hmm. be versatile as a dancer coming up. Mm-hmm. Try not to you will have your favorites, your yeah. preferred styles and so on. That's all well and good. But yeah. challenge yourself. Yeah. Also try to touch different areas. Yeah. It makes it makes you more more rounded. Mm-hmm. More well rounded. Yeah. Um yeah. How do you personally handle criticism? I hear it's tough being a dancer. Yeah. Like the writers community is almost like, you know, a little more loving and warm. Mm-hmm. You know, we're a little eclectic in the theater yeah. community. But the dancers are like, your foot is off. Yeah. <laughs> How do you handle it? You gotta try to stay strong, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like, get to a point you know your ability and be confident in that. Mm-hmm. Not to the point that you're arrogant and okay. block out any criticism that you may get yes. but try to keep it open mind right. yeah so that that's what I do yes and I try to stay positive okay like yeah good good so when we come back in it's not it's gonna be a flow we ain't breaking mm-hmm. you're gonna see us doing a little dance guy is gonna okay. teach me a little something I don't know what it is yet so keep watching Okay, so we promised you a short and sweet dance segment. Thank you so much to Guy, but before we start, how do we book you and the area for the Savannah Dance Crew? Simple. Um, we handle on Instagram is area47 underscore bin, B-I-N. Um, you could contact me, you could DM in, on the um, account, mm-hmm. area47 underscore bin, or you can contact me personally as cool. well. Cool. Yeah. All right, if you're trying to find Guy, you could even find me and I will find yeah. you. Yeah. All right, so let us get into this dance routine. I hear it is simple. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. I am ready. I am ready. Yeah. 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 All right, a little something in the knees. So then I'm yeah. you can take this right foot. Uh huh. Okay. Swing it. And then throw the head. Okay. And repeat again. All right. Stay there. Okay. Throw the head. Uh huh. Okay, stay here. Let the hands drop. And then we're gonna walk forward, facing front. Uh huh. Does that two times, yeah? Yes. And then the last great legs swing forward. Yes. Swing forward. And then do a little brush. And then brush. Woo! 
Yeah. Yeah. Pasta, yeah. pasta coming yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's see. Let's yeah. go over the top. Some water. Mm hmm. Hit. Head. Again. Hit. Head. And then you go. Rock. Rock. Hey. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Ah, swivel. Yeah. My question is where? Yeah. <laughs> I love it, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here on Party yeah. Culture TV. Yeah, for the Pop Over Culture. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share the episode with a friend. Bye. Later.